stuff. Uh, anything from uh, fins to the gear we got right here in uh, Casey's Gun Gold, some of the stuff that we got. Um, yes, yeah, so we have them uh, pre cut already to some major um, products like the uh, Peltor headsets, um, the Team Windy, and Opscore helmets. And there's multiple um, sizes and variations of this helmet as well. Um, the PBS 31s, um, as well as the Scuba Pro uh, fins. Um, and basically all you want to do is clean the surface that you want to put it on and camouflage. You're just going to peel it off like so and stick it to whatever you'd like to camouflage. Um, like I said, it is waterproof and oil resistant and um, it's reusable. So when you're done, if you don't want to use it anymore, take it off. All you do is peel it back off and reapply it back to the sheet that it came on or wax paper and save it for another time. Just try to make sure the debris doesn't stick to the back and ruin its stickiness. Some of the things that the guys are doing since uh, some people deal with cold weather and uh, wooded. So instead of having two helmets or respray paint and things, they have their uh, white helmet and then they'll go ahead and get these skins. And in the springtime, they put the, the woodland skins on and then uh, during the winter, we just take them off, put them on wax paper, and they wait for the, uh, the springtime again. So it's a lot easier to use and uh, <clears throat> probably just as expensive as most of our stuff is for the, the skins, compatible to uh, the, the helmet cover, which is uh, pretty bulky um, and a little bit more expensive. So if you guys got any questions, give us a shout out. We got Sean back here. Working it. Working it. Um, and as well as these pre uh, laser cut ones that we had, like the ones that went over, we also sell it in um, blank sheets of 36 inch by 27. And people are buying them and cutting them themselves to put on uh, scopes, um, optics, you know, anything that anything that it'll adhere to, um, you can pretty much camo it. All right, you guys got any questions on the skins? It's pretty simple. Um, you know, like they said, they can apply to anything. And also reusable. So we'll stay on here for a few minutes. If you guys got anything, we're going to talk through. Um, let's see. Let's see. No one let you guys. No questions. <coughs> you guys just crushed should, it. I think we just did that good at explaining. <clears throat> so a lot of guys are asking us to uh, make them for different weapons. And instead of having a you know, cutting to a certain weapon, everybody has different optics, different uh, way they put their uh, weapon together. So, like Casey was talking about, we sell them in those sheets, and then that way you can cut it specifically to your, your weapon system, um, your vehicle, so they're putting them on Humvees, um, STVs, uh, anything and everything. So, the sheet is, how much is a sheet? It's uh, 115 for 36 inch by 27 inch. Yep, so the sheet is a pretty good deal, because then you just cut it however you want Is it heat resistant if you place it on a barrel? So uh, it's, I think it's uh, the same as our ghost material, which is like around 300 degrees. And you know, so your single, you don't want to put it on, on your Mark 46 or Mark 48 where it's going to heat up like crazy. But on your sniper weapon is, uh, a lot of guys are putting on the sniper weapons. So in particular, probably not like, the handguard area, things like that, you'd want to put it on, but like, yeah, like uh, things. And then also, I'd also say on, um, for the helmet specifically, what what's the benefit of that compared to the regular, um, uh, like, pullover helmet cover? Helmet cover. What's a good, what, was, what would be a good... This is easier because um, you can still put your patches on it, you can still put your uh, uh, devices on it, so it's cut around your helmet and all the little holes, whereas if you put a helmet cover, it's going over everything. And then you gotta like uh, manipulate it, cut things to uh, get things to fit. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's uh, a little bit cheaper than that. So a helmet cover, or excuse me, uh, our skins for our helmets are $55 MSRP. Um, and it's just way more low profile. So you got low profile, a little bit cheaper, um, you know, and I think too, I know for me, you know, when we've looked at, if you're 
changing between units and you're working with different guys. Sometimes you're asked to, you know, one year, one time you're wearing multicam, next time you're wearing black, next time you're wearing green. And so it just keeps changing. So rather than have to dip or change that, uh, you can have those properties with that, right? That's correct. Um, uh, the next question was, uh, is it infrared reflective? Yeah, all our, uh, Ghost is near our compliant, so it fits into the uh, requirement. Well, a great question. Yeah, so if you heard them, uh, so it's near IR compliant. It's already been tested uh, through uh, Natick, so they, they control that, and uh, it's not going to glow. It's not going to make you start shining under MVGs or anything like that. Uh, next question, how does it stick on to the OpsCore carbon bump? So uh, you want to show up close if you could. Um, so we have it for the carbon bump as well. And you can kind of see right here, Casey's got it showing it. This is this is obviously not the carbon bump, but, yeah, but it, this is a bump uh, ops core. Uh, and so the adhesive will stick to it and then you can peel it and put it back on and off. So um, it will hold to the carbon bump as well. We have one. Um, we already have the uh, template for it and cut, and guys are running that one. Um, even even like they showed earlier, they showed it on the fins. So we have them for um, Scuba Pro fins as well as some of the other uh, different manufacturers for fins. What other questions you guys got? See anything on there? Uh, do you lift weights? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just watch <laughs> do you? No, I don't. Uh, let's see. I don't see anything else on there. That's probably from Zach. <laughs> no, that was for me. I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, anything else uh, you guys got questions on on the gear uh, we just showed? Um Went through everything, obviously, both helmets, um, the Peltors, MBGs, the fins. Uh, you can also get it on sheets. So uh, let us know if you have any more questions. If not, we're going to we're gonna jump off. I don't see any here uh, any, in, in here in the next couple seconds. We're going to jump off, let you guys go enjoy the next uh, few more hours before bed on Mabach Monday. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks, guys.